Spencer over here, development executive for HT. Who are you? Pastor Eli leads out. We were Chief Angelical Lutheran Church, We Ridge, Colorado. We just taught uh, for this Beyond Reasonable Doubt conference on this. Basketball Jesus. Do not cancel us, Internet. Do not. We, I mean, you can, but we promise we have a good point. In a game of 1v1 basketball, of course, Michael Jordan would beat Jesus every single time. Prove me wrong. That was, that was the contention, right? That was the contention that we just taught on, that Michael Jordan would beat uh, Jesus, the the thought process always is that Jesus is going to win, right? Because he's God, that he's going to drain every three point shot. If he wanted to, he could jump off from the half court line and fly through the air and do all these dunks, right? That's the contention. That's the thought. My contention, my belief here, and I think this is right, is and we all we realize this is silly, right? But our contention is that if Jesus were to do that, he would be denying his humanity, and that's a big thing here. Because we have, in the person of Christ, right, his, uh, uh, in the two natures. We have his divine nature and his human nature. And we always want to puff up his divine nature. We always want to do that, right? Uh, that's what uh, uh, Satan always wants us to do as well. Puff up his uh, divine nature, deny his human nature, right? So that he turns into what? Some sort of uh, mythical... Uh, He's Superman. He's Hercules. Right. Greco Roman God, right? That that enabled to uh, uh, do all these things, uh, uh, not succumb to temptation, right? Uh, uh, fulfill the law. That he's not actually doing this in full humanity, but he's doing this in some sort of superhuman, right? And I I don't think that's it. Not only do I not think that's it, Scripture speaks explicitly against it. And so my favorite thing in all of this is is. We get to hear in this in this breakout the trueness of Christ's full humanity. What that actually means. The, his act of righteousness of fulfilling all God's law, but also his passive righteousness of actually receiving all of our garbage. And, and also, not only knowing what it's like to go through suffering, but not just intellectually, but as we do. No one was like to be rejected. Uh, you had said it the best, right? Second best. He no. knows what it's like to be second best at something. Or to come in last at a race. Yeah. Or to walk through the halls and be rejected, right? He knows what it's like when his best friends in the world betray him. Right. He knows what it's like when his when his uh, uh, family comes and and thinks he's crazy, right? This is the true humanity of Christ, and in so doing, uh, receiving all of this, becoming one of us. And then going to the cross, all in this true humanity, being, being denied by the Father in the fullness and receiving the fullness of the, of the Father's wrath there as true man so that we would never have. And all of that has to be done in the fullness of his. We're not separating the two. We're not denying one or the other. We're actually lifting both of them up to be what they actually are. There is the person of Christ and his two natures. We dare not do away with his human nature. That whole heck of a lot. Yeah. This isn't Jesus. No. Jesus on the cross dying for the forgiveness of your sin. Jesus. That's true.